This conference will now be recorded. Yeah. And one more time, a new persons I'm going to be giving myself. I'm Srinivas working from last 12 plus years on different kind of technologies, web applications, mobile applications, data science, artificial intelligence, the kind of artificial intelligence, cybersecurity. Cybersecurity is nothing but we are going to be giving security to the authorizations and we are going to be providing identifiers identification on different kind of applications and products see let me explain one by one what we are going to be covered and how these things are going to be happen all these things we will see so first of all i just want to tell you some brief discussion about uh, different kind of things we need to know what is on premises we need to know what is on premises what is cloud on premises nothing but the data centers which are going to be generating the data centers which are going to be generating based on the company. For example, they are going to be purchasing servers. They are going to be purchasing the modules and purchasing all these things by own, company own. That is nothing but on-premises. Now, what is cloud? Cloud is pay as use. There are multiple kind of cloud providers which are going to be available in the market. Like Azure is there, AWS is there, Google GCP is there multiple kind of cloud providers which are going to be available okay so in on premises we need to invest a lot of money and we need to recruit a lot of people and we need to invest on labor work power charges so that is nonsense now it is completely every company moving to the cloud in cloud we can do a lot of things in cloud platform as service software as service application as service network as service so everything is there in the cloud before going that we need to understand a concept called identity access management identity access management see the word is very very powerful word in the part of cyber security identity nothing but some kind of authorization access means we are giving identity we are giving access only for the particular people management how to manage this how to manage this identification and how to give the access how to stop the access how to divide the access all these things we have to manage for example there is one company one person is going to be joined new for that person which kind of identity we need to provide and what kind of services he could able to access basically he is the developer for example he is the developer for developer what kind of identities we need to provide and we need to give the access of hr identity and we need to give access of testing identity testing team identity and giving make a communication with the testing team server side team and database application dba team in the complete uh, complete level of grouping access we need to maintain in the company so that identity should be secured that identity should be secured that is what actually uh, security we need to provide on cyber on web and now this tool is very very important in the world growing in the market already grown and growing in the market lot of job openings are there but nobody knows about this kind of identity access management now all companies all mnc's big mnc's are recruiting identity access management people okay so i will come to that point later what is cyber security what is iam what is identity access management iam tools keep enterprises say by ensuring only authorized users can access sensitive data data is very very sensitive so we know we no need to allow the data complete data to the particular customer 
customer can able to access only few features in the particular company or organization okay he can able to access only the he can able to access only the front office he can't able to access the back office for example one person entering into the particular organization he can able to access only the front office he can't able to access the back office okay if it is required we give permission to the back office with identity change or giving access to that particular back office also so data is very important in the particular organization and how much data we need to give him that much data we have to give the access using with some applications there are multiple kind of applications or tools available one by one we will see features of iim there are multiple features which are going to be available in the identity access management the one is user provisioning yes this is very very important so everybody using smartphones right nowadays people are using smartphones lot of people are using smartphones for example some people are using apple ios devices apple ios devices some applications not able to access by the kids it means we are giving provision and by the age if the age is below 12 years we can't give this particular access of that particular person only provisioning is required provisioning is nothing but some certification some certificates only that provisioning certificate is going to be identify the person based on the age okay in company also what kind of applications we need to give the permission and what kind of applications we can't give the permission by the provisioning access the tools to streamline in the onboarding process of user account creation assignment of authorization role to define resources to the user basically the resources are much but few resources only we can able to give the access based on the user credentials centralized access management so the access management in that particular organization can be centralized global access management also provided for some people are part of the access given for the some people and 70% access for some people that is no matter where application data reside i am centralized the management those resources so admins can uniformly manage access and authorization controls by the entire infrastructure so some administrator is there that administration is some identity access management so we are the we are the person we can give the access for that particular person using by the cyber that is security we have to maintain for the organization single sign on yes i came to the topic uh, single sign on this is very much important single sign on for multiple kind of applications basically we are going to be preparing okay let me take one simple example let me take a paint by the paint i will explain all these things <clears throat> commonly for example so one person is there one user is there he is the user okay imagine he is the user he is the user and he can able to access multiple applications with the multiple kind of user id and password suppose he is going to be creating one user id password he is going to be preparing one user id and one password for example for the facebook application password one web application like facebook okay for facebook he created one user id and password just observe the carefully what single sign on is that is a benefit of uh, identity access management okay suppose he want to access facebook application he want to access facebook application what he can do what he can do he can create one user id and password with that user id and password he can able to sign sign in with the facebook that is perfect that is perfect okay so he want to join with the twitter he want to join with the uh, instagram okay i am writing three applications okay for twitter one more account he want to create twitter account for twitter account also he need to create again user id password for example he need to create again user id and uh, password again just carefully observe sir this topic is very very important for this identity access management and single sign on concept okay 
yes and he can able to access now twitter at the same time he want to go for the instagram if he want to go for instagram again he is thinking about uh, some other user id some other password okay so he will create one user id one password for the instagram separate separate user ids and passwords for different kind of application different kind of user ids and passwords and password again password okay so now his brain is going to be typical to remember three passwords for example he is going to be using he is going to be using tons of applications for example our mobile also having a lot of applications uh, still my mobile having a uh, nearby 120 applications for 120 applications i need to create a 120 user ids 120 passwords for example okay for 120 applications i am going to be preparing 120 user ids and 120 passwords my brain is not that much capability to remember all these things so my brain could not able to remember all these things for example sometime i will forget about the facebook user id password i need to change a change password again change password also i forgot for twitter i forgot about a twitter and again i need to go for the change password that will take a lot of time to you so this is the worst scenario which is going to be running in the market people are using multiple applications multiple user ids multiple passwords okay benefit of the single sign on this is without single sign on sir this is without single sign on without sso without sso nothing but without single sign on just observe the point single sign on but now come to the point uh, what identity access management can do with the single sign on single sign on remember the point single sign on very important topic for the identity access management single sign on sso yes single sign on yes come to point now again user one simple user is there one simple user is there this user is going to be having one sign in one sign one sign in password and user ID for example okay so one sign in one password i will tell you i will tell you i have to write all the applications again one facebook one twitter one instagram and in middle there is a concept called uh, there is a concept called identity access there is a concept called identity access identity access came into the picture okay for example i'm taking example ping ping for it oh let me take a single sign on sso here so what this sso can do i will tell okay so this sso is going to be having one user id one password one user id one password what 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 user can do he is going to be registering or authenticating with a single user id single password with sso and with this sso i can able to operate my facebook application so i can able to log in with my facebook application then then when he open the tab with uh, in web page he is opening with the tab new application he is going to be open. suppose he is opening with the twitter he is opening with the twitter so twitter also having the same user id same password same user id same password okay so same user id same password how it should come it should come with a saml a single user id and password for the single sign on one username one password you can able to access multiple applications at the same time okay for example if i open a browser if i open a browser in browser i opened facebook application immediately in the new tab i opened a twitter automatically twitter will open for you twitter account also opened for you immediately in the new tab i open the instagram automatically instagram also logging for you. so one simple example i will tell you one simple example for the single sign on gmail sir. you take gmail how many people are using gmail i don't know if you open gmail 
if you open gmail immediately you can get inbox right you sign in with the gmail you can get inbox in the new tab you open the drive link sir in the new tab you open drive link automatically drive link will open now without giving username and password and immediately in the new tab you are opening youtube sir all these uh, google products right you are opening the youtube and you are opening the google sheet sheet or google uh, sheet suppose sheet again another page i am opening sheet see one single sign on with the gmail i can able to access automatically in the new tabs automatically i can able to access new tabs with inbox sorry inbox i sign in single sign on with inbox after single sign on drive automatically comes youtube automatically comes and sheet also automatically comes in the new tabs it is the best example for the single sign on google already maintaining single sign on google already maintaining single sign on but we need to give the same single sign on for that multiple kind of organizations in the future we need to we need to give the single sign on for multiple organizations in the future with one user id one password so remember it this single sign on having only one user id one password that is called single sign on only one user id one password for all the applications uh, one user id one password no need to create a multiple things no need to create a multiple things that's the benefits of that's the benefit the very important this single user id password is benefitable benefitable one for the single sign on authentication identity access management single user id password you can able to access multiple kind of applications at the same time so how this is going to be happening internally for example if you open gmail if you open gmail in this gmail one security token is going to be generating for you one security token is going to be generating that security token sending to the new tab so automatically drive will open the same security sign in opens in the youtube so with the first uh, session you are starting with the session sir you are starting with the browser when you browser start when you do sign in automatically session will start when session already running in the mode drive will work youtube will work sheet also works and when you close the window for the gmail no problem your drive is working for you you close the drive also youtube will working for you you close the youtube sheet will working for you you close everything automatically session ends automatically session ends so still the session is getting run automatically drive will open youtube will open sheet will open first time when you open gmail by default gmail will take a local storage gmail by default take a local storage automatically username password registered with the local system and when you start with the gmail automatically remind application remain applications also getting the same username same password with the single sign on see what identity access management can able to do is single sign on one single username and password for example uh, one new employee join in the company one new employee join in company one employee join in company okay so whenever he join in company he will get one registered uh, user id password user id and password he will take laptop now so for that that laptop uh, company will provide one username and password for him so the same user id password he can able to access uh, multiple kind of applications uh, who are who are the different kind of applications accessed for the particular employee for example this employee this employee can able to access two applications so this employee called x x can able to access only two applications why because of x role is working on two applications a new person joined in the company new person joined company y and his role is a big role he is a manager he is the senior so he is a junior software developer and he is the senior software engineer so for senior software engineer so what senior software engineer is y and this y can able to y also get a one user id and password but why can able to access uh, 10 different kind of applications 10 different kind of applications with the same user id and password he can able to access uh, 10 user id 10 applications 
for example another big person going to join in the company jed jed person jed person is a super role super role so high level role and he can able to he also getting one user id and password one user id and password but he can able to access uh, nearby 32 32 different kind of applications why because he is he is he need to organize all the 32 applications for 32 applications he need to manage so all 32 applications uh, he can able to join with the single user id and password but my point so he can't able to uh, he can't able to afraid about the uh, remembering the username and password every time same user id and password he can able to join with any kind of application for example he can join with the web application he can join for the mobile application he can join for the sap application he can able to join with the erp application and he is available with the hr team he is available with the managing directors he is available with the clients for example client have some of some other different kind of application so this kind of operations this kind of operations we have to manage in the company that is the role job role our job role is giving access based on the requirement giving access to the applications based on the requirement that is actually called single sign on so our work is basically single sign on okay everybody got my point i think so okay let me move to the slide uh, i just stopped with the single sign on yeah single sign on Single sign-on is series of process enables user authenticate uh, one time through the centralized portal then have to full access to the resources they are authorized without needing undergo additional authentication steps. Uh, it accomplishes the passing singular granted authentication from system to system as needed basis. Okay, so <coughs> you can see the same diagram you can see and observe what I'm doing with uh, identity access management. Uh, okay, so this is having a lot of files inside manage life cycle of identities identity identity grant identity close identity pass so i, I will explain this life cycle later and coming to the provision sir provisioning provisioning is nothing but allowing provisioning nothing but allowing so we are giving ticket with that particular ticket he is entering into the movie theater that ticket is nothing but provisioning provisioning is nothing but proof with that proof he is the only authorized person entering into the shopping mall with that proof he can able to entering into the metro rail metro railway station so he want to travel with the metro so they are going to be giving you one simple ticket so when you scan the ticket you can able to enter into the metro station so when you show your ticket then only you can able to access with the theater that is something like a provisioning granting access and revoke access revoke access nothing but uh, removing access removing access whenever he is coming out uh, that access will be closed so something like a provisioning deprovisioning now coming to the point sir authentication authentication authorization and single sign on single sign on i just want to uh, i just now given so what is the authentication what is authorization authentication nothing but why you who are you who are you nothing but authentication authorization nothing but after finding a person we need to give access we are giving access that is something like authorization authentication nothing but uh, pointing the person authorization nothing but that person we are giving access Recruiting the person is authentication. After recruiting the person, we are giving username and ID, user ID and password. That is something like authorization. Authentication and authorization both are very, very important in the part of identity access management. After that, after that, single sign-on. One username and password we need to give it. We have to create one username, we have to create one password and just give the access to them. See, can you see the diagram again? without single sign on same user taking four login IDs and going with the first application first login second application second login third application third login but in the next part in the next one with single sign on what is going to be happen only one user ID and one password 
you can able to go with the first application go with the second application go with the third application go with the fourth application all these things are there next coming to the point just remember this this architecture is very very important to understand the identity access management authentication with intelligence yes authentication with intelligence nothing but unnecessarily we don't give the voter voter id so i'm i'm just going to the village in that particular village we need to give the voter id so for which person we need to give the voter id basically so for kids we don't give right for kids we don't give then we need to check with aadhar card with aadhar card check with the age by the age we are going to be providing the other uh, sorry voter ids and for driving license how to provide driving license providing driving license only for the a proper drivers a proper check and by the age age also mandatory there that authentication with intelligence nothing but uh, with the sense without having sense uh, we don't provide authentication that authentication sense is nothing but identity access okay so can you see this uh, user authentication risk rating by the risk you have to check with the risk so this application need to give for permission for the kids or not enter age age enter age by the age only facebook is giving uh, access to you by the age only twitter giving access to you by the age only youtube giving access to you <clears throat> below 12 years guys 12 years kids uh, youtube is not giving access for some kind of uh, channels some kind of channels so that is nothing but by checking risk rating allow when you give allow access granted when you are not giving allow then you are not giving allow access denied challenge challenge is here important challenge there some lock available that lock we need to open for few people that lock need to close for few people set up step up authentication required step up authentication nothing but check one by one check one by one just give the access based on the requirement based on the application requirement that is the one more important point now okay this is a theoretical part for that in situations where passwords not sufficient such as providing access high risk transactions sensitive to applications for the data ping federate can require mfpa to reduce the risk okay so this is completely theoretical part now later i will share the pdf and you can just walk walk watch this and this is very important multi factor authentication this is the use of more than one method authentication user device mfpa provides better assurance that authenticators are who they claim to be multi factor authentication he can able to access a mobile data or sorry mobile application he can able to access a web application he can able to access the network application he can able to access the salesforce application multiple kind of application with the multi factors we can able to give the access user activity compliance uh, control okay so this is uh, it 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 is advantage of basically identity access management it enables an organization to take an advantage of capabilities of iim to help and product identify risk regarding to the privacy protection checking with the privacy protection that is a very strict way and uh, governments identity basically follow the governance rules the policy driven approach mandatory for each and every product the product need to be create or organized with uh, some rules and regulations uh, that is appropriate uh, appropriately all the products are designed with uh, managing security very important access portal service one important point uh, api api is very very important for the calls of uh, see api where api came into the picture where api came into the picture application programming interface or urls when you want to go with the cloud and you need to work with your product in the cloud cloud system first of all you need to create one account number of users number of accounts are there by the user by the checking with the username and password he can able to join with the cloud and pay as you go and pay as you use there this api calls are very very important and uh, we have to work with the api calls for the checking with the back end communicating with the back end front end always communicating with the back end most of the youtube applications all web applications are working with the front end and back end front area front area front panel back panel and middle panel is security panel security panel checks which data he want he wants to take 
based on that it is going to be deliver the data analysis of the rest so some iim platforms collect the user authentication and access identity so all the time so you can check with that and who are the different kind of providers in the market now i come to the point so till now we discussed about the identity access management now i am going with the who are the providers who are the providers which are going to be available in the market for giving identity access management the one is a cyber <coughs> the one is a 4g rock the one is the ibm tool mfa sso single sign on privileged access management identity governance this is a very nice product and microsoft azure iim this is also giving a very good uh, features with the cloud storage management tools collaborations crm e-commerce platform erp <coughs> sorry octa is the one more platform which is going to be giving identity access management and uh, one login is one platform which is going to be giving the uh, identity access management oracle identity cloud service yeah and sale point rsa now come to the point uh, our course is going to be ping identity see our course so till now till now i discussed about uh, iim internet access management now finally and we are working on sso concept now come to the point uh, ping identity ping identity is the one product which is going to be available on premises and cloud but our course completely working with on premises we are not working with the cloud now at now at now at a time but in future we will start the new session for the cloud we are going with the on premises on premises with the ping identity one is the ping federate ping access two modules i am going to be cover with the next further 30 sessions next further 30 sessions i am going to be covering with you ping federate ping access so i will tell you how to install ping in your system so you need a mac system or windows machine or linux machine with a good internet connection and good system configuration if you have good system configuration and if you have internet connection you can able to easily download and install ping identity in your system and this is 30 days trial after 30 days you need to go with the another email account and you need to make it renewal but within 30 days our course will be complete definitely you can go with and company company is going to be giving you a company you user id company password you can work with the company role but for the practice <coughs> for the practice i am giving to you a, a simple trial version you can install a trial version i will show how to install ping i will show how to install ping what are the different kind of topics i am going to be cover each and everything but remember one point i am going to be discussing with you on on premises i am not going to be touch with the cloud in further next sessions next next uh, time when i'm whenever i'm starting with the cloud ping identity i will tell you so these are the different type of things now let's come to the point what ping identity can do what ping identity can do one second ping federate a pure play vendor ping is a well known iam space and the trail blazer in sso and mfa both in fact it's a widely known that ping is the only vendor microsoft app to offer the identity services microsoft uh, ad premium offering ping identity is available to several different package offerings it depends on whatever the weather business require iam services for internal employees external customers or a combination of two see the point is very important ping federate is available for the internal persons internal employees at the same time external customers external customer also need to access some of the company related products for external customer how many applications we have to give the access uh, ping added ping federate can give so, yeah the combination is very very important uh, this is a highlighted one and i appreciate it and ping also offers uh, several useful trunky coin integrated systems for companies that have specific iim needs here some trunky platform examples including like iim or microsoft ad federation services aws google cloud just clear internet access and zoom all these things are going to be happening with that and uh, what we are going to be uh, covered in the course agenda i'm just giving the agenda showing agenda to you guys in the next 30 hours class i'm going to be discussing with you topics like uh, identity access management overview and capabilities of ping federate 
basic components in ping federate how many components are there i will just want to tell one by one later installation of ping federate definitely i have to show otherwise you can't able to do practice everybody have to do practice 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 just to practice need not to write a single line of code guys remember we are not learning programming language we are not learning any programming language we are trying to giving we need to understand the topics or tools where i need to click where i need to give access where i need to stop the access that thing you have to know so your work is giving authentication giving authorization authorization authentication single sign on creations so your job role is only on three points authentication authorization single sign on we have to we have to give for the users in the company working with the saml saml i will tell you later saml is something like a token ticket how to how to take this ticket and how to provide this ticket for whom i need to give this ticket saml is nothing but some security key and for whom i need to give the security key for whom i need to stop the security key for whom i need to give the access for whom i need to uh, revoke the access all these things uh, wait and see uh, ws trust and ws security and oauth the 2.0 oauth 2.0 very very important this is something like api call this is something like api call multiple application access giving by the apis i will explain this very very easily and friendly way open id connect multi factor authentication single sign on for ping ping, ping federate admin console and certificate management how to manage the certificates security certificates ssl certificates how to create ssl certificate how to manage this ssl certificate all the things and backup how to backup the data how to backup your uh, authentications and how to restore authentications all these things you will see and administration apis monitoring clustering all these things complete course will go with uh, 25 to 30 hours enough 25 to 30 hours enough no need to write a single line programming code so he is the programmers for them it is very easy who is non programmer for him he, it is dead easy definitely i am sure and uh, so i go for the question answers now if you have any question and answer you can just talk me to talk to me please uh, anybody there online you have any questions and answers you can ask i will give you answer you can just ask me question uh, uh hello sir this is narayan yes 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 please yeah so um, in the previous slides we have discussed about the service providers right regarding the octa uh, like uh, yes, other yes. things and uh, yes, yes. we have selected only the ping uh, ping uh, federate yes 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 so how about the other things like uh, is it like the trending uh, the trending ping federate is a trending topic or okay yes yes ping federate is trending now which is going to be support for multiple kind of things okay See, every every product so, is good actually but every product is good uh, uh, for every product there are some limitations okay See, some product uh, supporting for 20 features some some product supporting for 40 features some port, some, some product supporting for 100 features so based on that okay. we have to go but now in the market uh, pink federate jobs are very very good a lot of job openings which are going to be generating on pink federate like uh, uh, all companies like mnc uh, wipro tcs capgemini a lot of mind a lot of companies a lot of you companies are generating jobs on pink federate that's why i choose a pink federate for the cyber security model okay see that, that is not stopping for you guys okay for example in the company after two years you are working for pink federate after two years they are going with octa means you have to work with hakta you need to learn that all products are same sir all products are giving identity access management only all products are working with the single sign on all products are authentication authorization process. but only technology getting changed maybe the user interface get changed sir user interface get changed sir hmm? so you have to you, you have facebook you have instagram both are working with the same concept like postings uh, reels Hmm? and videos and photos uh, post whatever it may be so like friends you're connecting with friends you are chatting with the friends both are same but some interface is good with the instagram some interface is bad with the facebook both are social media right yeah yeah that that kind of thing yeah any question yeah okay 
Yeah, uh, I have two more questions in line. Yes, please. Yeah, so um, as you told us, like uh, we are discussing about the on-premises and uh, are we not uh, going to discuss anything about cloud, the ping one and ping ID? Yes, I think the next, next month, the next batch, I'm going with the uh, cloud server. That is separate batch, that is separate class. So we will be part of uh, that batch or else? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You will be part of the batch. Uh, they have to pay now. Every batch okay, they have yeah. to pay money. Payment is separate for that. Right. In, uh, you know, if you want to learn Nakta, you can learn Nakta also. You have to pay. That is different. Okay. So sir, every, every module is separate. Sir. Everything in the cyber sector. Ah. Yes, sir, please. Okay. Yeah, and and the last for your question. question, just I am going to answer. See, ping one and the ping fat rate. Ping fat rate is on premise. Ping one is cloud application. Both will be similar. Okay. There will not be any difference. See, the thing okay. we are going to work ping fat rate on the server. Ping one is the cloud application. That is the main difference. You can okay. log in yeah, with the ping one directly. Yeah, yeah, please. Yes, sir. Yeah, please go with next question. Yeah, please. If you have any questions, yeah, we are that, ready to take it yeah, forward. Last, yeah, the last one is uh, so now we are getting trained on on premises, right? So uh, is it uh, uh, related to the thing like um, the jobs which are going to show us will be on uh, this part only? See, everything related to ping one, ping fat rate, both are same. We are having 100% jobs. We have multiple openings now in the market. There are no candidates okay. available in the market because if you see TCS is going to record 500 plus and, uh, you know, like one second. And uh, you know, like uh, Cap Gemini is having multiple projects, HCL is hiring, Mindtree is hiring, EXT technology is hiring, and we have XAVA technologies. Everyone are now see in the India market recently. This was started through Pink Federate product. We have in Pink Federate and Okta both are same in the market. They are leaders in the market right now. Microsoft Azure also, you know, like chasing them. Uh, they are developing day by day, but we have very good support from Ping support gauge. Whatever the things we want, they will interact immediately and they will try to resolve. If you are not aware regarding on that particular uh, issues or uh, errors, okay. that is the reason Ping Fed rate is in good rating in the top ladders. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sir. If you have any other questions, please let me know. I am going to take it forward. No, sir. I am done from my side. Thank you. Yeah, one second. So, how many people joined in the WhatsApp group? I don't know. One second, guys. I will share the WhatsApp group link for you. And you people joined with the WhatsApp group link. I will share the PPT, whatever I discussed now. I will share the PPT for you. I am just going to be giving you WhatsApp link. WhatsApp group link, you can just uh, join with the particular uh, WhatsApp. Then I will share the PPT for them. And who is required PPT, you can just uh, separately message in the WhatsApp group. Then uh, we'll share the PPT for you. And classes will start from Wednesday. Classes, regular classes starts from Wednesday. So just remind the point. And people, please join with the WhatsApp. If anybody required a PPT, I will share. For the may, may, the timings? The timings will be decided, sir. Timing will be decided, and uh, in the WhatsApp group, I uh, will tell the timings by the end of tomorrow. Okay, okay. And Thank you, sir. duration is duration is thirty hours, and pieces and all uh, admin will talk to you. So admin will give you one message in WhatsApp group based on the pieces and based on the uh, further job. Hundred percent job, sir. This is course for hundred percent job providing. And how that 100% will be, you can talk to the administrator in the group. Administrator is there in the group. You can talk to him. He will talk to you. You call him. He will talk to you. I can't able to talk to few people, guys. I don't have that much time spent here to talk all the questions. Okay, so we'll meet again Wednesday. 
I will let you know the timings. Please join in the group, sir. Everybody. Sure, sure. And uh, ping, ping for the ping for the PPT. I will share the PPT. And uh, so just contact the person. In the last slide, I have the contact uh, given. Na. You can just contact him. Phone call or WhatsApp. No issues. Mohan's Technologies. And we are the only provider cyber security course in Hyderabad. Or India also. I don't know India providing cyber security. But we are the only persons started with the cyber security. And we are leaders in the cyber security from last uh, 9 years and 10 years. We are already given a lot of sessions. Just, just check with that. Call him or WhatsApp him and he will send you the PPT file. Whatever the course is going to be mocked in. I will just find it, right? So bye for now. Have a great day. Good night all. One second, one second. Just check the website, sir. We have the good website now launched already. Mohans. Mohanstechnologies.com. There you go with visit website. Visit website and go with the courses. We are going to be providing a lot of courses there. So Octa, Ping, Fire, Ping Identity, CyberArk, 4G Rock, SailPoint, MuleSoft, Full Stack Web Development, Python, Django, and Oracle OSB, Oracle SOA. Well, limited courses, sir. We don't focus on like uh, programming like Java, .NET, C, C++. So we, we have to target high packages. And we are targeting non-programmers. Listen to this, sir. Non-programmers. If you already know some programming, we are moving and that is okay, sir. Fine, sir. That's appreciate. Now open eyes. And you can just go to the a home button here and fill the form automatically you can get uh, fill the form and uh, choose the course and fill the form just click on the request code uh, we will get an uh, email based on the email we will communicate with you in further future also we will communicate everything with the email only okay we don't have that much time to see the whatsapp messages on all these things we have a lot of batches back to back batches uh, 10 batches we are running sir okay just go with the things and all so have a great day thanks for attending session bye for now we'll meet again wednesday with the first class thanks everyone take care really thanks for your patience yeah thank you sir yeah